audio is more important than video. That is a fact and it is not up for debate. Thank you very much for watching today's video and see you in the next one. You know I'm kidding guys. However, audio can really be a very boring topic and also be a very complicated one, especially if you're not an audio person. Now, several weeks ago after I published this particular video, which is titled how to edit a dialogue scene, although it wasn't on audio, but one of my very loyal subscribers by name Akable actually took notice of how I managed to get the audio in that particular video to sound awesome, although I didn't leave Adobe Premiere Pro to go do that in Adobe Audition. Now, if you're a beginner or if you're just getting into audio, then this this video is rightly for you because we are going to be doing this with the help of Adobe Premiere Pro Essential Audio Panel. So sit back, relax, let's figure this out. Hello guys and welcome to this channel. On this channel, we take the big Hollywood ideas and we transpose them into smaller ideas so that you, the indie filmmaker out there, can implement in your works. Today, as you already know, we are talking about audio in this particular video. So sit back, relax, let's fire up Adobe Premiere Pro and let's get started with this video. So the version we are using for today's illustration is actually Adobe 2020 and it will of course work in all latest versions of Premiere Pro. So. Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 is fired up here and this is just another rough edit I made of that whole particular sequence and let's listen to how it sounds before we begin to do some post-processing on this. <laughs> I didn't do it though. You know I can't. You can go and ask everyone who was present or... Will you shut up and never talk about this thing again? All right, so right off the bat, you could realize that we have several problems. Now, the noise to the voice ratio, the noise in the background is really very high. And so it's interrupting what the guys are saying. Again, you realize that what this other guy is saying seems to be a little bit lower than when this other guy talks it seems to be a little bit louder. So the main goal here will be to get all of them to peak at a constant level. At the same time, then we also get rid of the background voice. Like I said, this is just a beginner tutorial, so we are not going to get in depth into this because the most recommended way actually is to just take the whole project out and take it into Adobe Audition or a professionally dedicated audio software to do this. But Kudos to Adobe for including this magnificent panel, which we are going to be using to do this particular audio work. So right off the bat, you realize that we are in the editing window. So what you first of all do is you just switch your editing to audio panel. And right off the bat, you realize that just the same software, but the whole interface has been reconfigured just so that you can have available all the audio options at your disposal. So first of all, what we do is since we have all this as dialogue, you realize that um, nothing complicated. We don't have um, a music layer. So this, all of this is dialogue. So first of all, I just highlight everything straightforward. And once we are in the audio panel, right over here you would realize that you can tag the particular audio according to what you want so we have dialogue so if it's dialogue you just tell the software that this is dialogue if it's music or if it was music we had to overlay there we'll tell the software that it's music and if it's sound effects actually we will tell it that it's sound effects and it's just ambience or maybe room tone we'll tell it that it's room tone so in this case we want the software to know that we are dealing with dialogue so let's click on dialogue and right away you realize that Dialogue will be applied to all these audio effects over here and we are presented with this particular panel. We have loudness, we have repair, you have clarity and if you also um, go further, you also uh, have down here the creative panel. So my process or how I actually achieved or how I actually worked on this audio was that um, first of all, I come to loudness and make sure that I match all the loudness so that this person doesn't start to speak and he sounds louder and the next person starts to speak and it looks like it's lower. So you have, you know, louder, lower, that kind of thing going on. So the main goal is to get all of this thing to level up. So once we are in the loudness panel, let's click on loudness and now we say auto match. So just keep an eye over here. You realize that everything has been raised. All the volume has been raised and everything would be equal. So let's play this and see if that has been the case. Hmm. 
I didn't do it though. Okay, so that was successful. However, that leads us to problem number one. Now, you would realize that once we've normalized everything, even including the background noises or the noise that we don't need in the video, everything has also actually been increased. So it's now time to take out all the various sounds within that particular background. Now, it's recommended that you go through and do this individually for every single clip. But in this case, this is just basic. So what we will just do is that you just go to the repair tab, click on repair, then we click on reduce noise. Now, reduce noise automatically, you realize that it has been applied to all the clips. Now, from my experience, usually if you leave it at a very higher value like this, then it begins to chop into, or let me say, cut into some of the very low frequencies of the voice, which really makes your voice sound very rich. And so the way to go about this is to really reduce this let's say to let's say 0 0.6, 0 0.1. It also depends on your noise level or the noise level within that particular um, audio. So from my experience, I don't really allow it to go very high, just a little. And depending on the clip, we will now go through individually and adjust the various clips. So let's leave it here and let's play through and see. Already sounding much better. So you realize that most of the background sound is gone. Good. Now, that leads us again to problem number two. Some selected audios or some of the videos were recorded at different distances. So what happens is that those audios are actually going to be very loud. So what happens is that because there were no dialogues in those particular areas, then we clicked on auto-matched. Those same areas, it had to raise all the sound so that everything becomes leveled. Meanwhile, we don't really need it, especially no one is talking there. So in that particular case, we click on that particular clip and make sure we increase the noise reduction ratio for that particular clip so that we cut down the noise drastically. So let's see. That's better, that's better. So you realize that in moving to the next clip also, you, you realize we can still get a lot of sound in this one. So let's do the same process for this. Let's increase the noise reduction ratio a little and see if it does some magic. Yeah, so again, some magic has been done. So just listen to the variation. Did you notice the, the change? Yeah, so that means that our noise in this particular clip is still a little bit louder, so we can still go ahead and increase it drastically. Let's see how it sounds. Much better, much better. Let's see. The transitioning isn't really um, that noticeable at this point. So let's still go through. You know I can't. So that means this is perfect. We don't need to reduce uh, the background sounds much more in this one you can wait ask everyone this also works who was present or will you shut up this also works because the dialogue so if you look at the pattern if you have the dialogue well recorded on set then this becomes very easy but you'll be faced with a plethora of problems if you didn't record the audio well on set so guys take some time make sure to record the audio very well so let's continue with this and never talk about this thing again but I'm totally innocent too. Okay, so this still works, but we can hear a little bit of um, some car horns, uh, people honking and all that. So let's increase this a little. And never talk about this thing again. But I'm totally innocent too. Okay, so this is a clear example. You can hear it begins to sound, or the voice begins to sound a little bit robotic. So let's reduce this again a little. But I'm totally innocent too. Much better. Did you hear that, guys? So there wasn't dialogue here. And so because the things were falling on the ground, the software actually thought that was dialogue. So it actually increased those volumes. Just, just listen to it again. That is damn crazy, guys. So right off the bat, let's go ahead to increase the noise reduction. Sorry, um, this, yes. Let's go ahead to increase the noise reduction. Let's see how it sounds again. All right. 
that's still bad. But naturally, uh, there was a little bit of a problem with the recording of that side. And the transition in here might be a little bit of a challenge. And so what I would just do is, the, the distance between here and here is too short, so we can just get rid of this and pull this through since there's no dialogue. And that works. And so let's go ahead to reduce the rumble. Let's reduce the noise again. Then let's see. And that is it guys. So now straight away, we have everything leveled and everything sounds very nice. So the next step or what I do again is I highlight everything and I go through and make sure that I add or exaggerate the quality of the mic. How do I exaggerate the quality of the mic? So I leave the repair side and I come to clarity because clarity is so, so, so important because they have to hear what your characters are saying. So let's click on clarity and let's click on dynamics. And so once we have dynamics selected, so we now come ahead and click on EQ. We are now about to EQ the voice. Guys, EQing, it's so, so important. I know these are just the basics, but the more you get advanced in audio, you get to realize that the secret to getting very quality audio, especially when you're post-processing, is EQing your voice. I always EQ all my videos, or I always EQ my voice anytime I have it recorded from any sort of device and so at times i do exaggerate the quality of my device because i have people asking how come the audio sounds so quality from this phone even when i record from a phone i do eq it so let's select eq and now we have a lot of presets to choose from um from intercom lock in the trunk or radio or whatever but what we are looking at, so for most of the times, what I do is if it's a male who is speaking, I just come and click subtle boost, which is male. So it is going to boost the male voice for you. Now, if it's a female, you select subtle boost female. Now, in this case, if it's a dialogue scene that is happening between two people, which is a male and a female, you select all the male dialogue and select male. When you are done, you select all the female dialogue and select female. So in this case, we are lucky everyone is a male here. So that's why we've selected everything and we are selecting subtle boost, which is male. So once we have this selected, then we go ahead to increase the amount just a little. Then we tell you to enhance the speech. So the software will now go through, listen to what these characters are saying or listen to the audio and know where the dialogue happens. And so let's select male again here. And that is it for now. And so let's go through. <sighs> I didn't do it though. You know I can't. You can go and ask everyone who was present or... Will you shut up and never talk about this thing again? But I'm totally innocent. Oh. So guys, thank you very much. So that is how I'm able to put together, especially when I'm on the race or I'm not working on a film project and I don't have to go to Adobe Audition. This is how quick I put together audio. Like I said, this is just the beginning and it's meant for you, the beginners out there or people who are just getting started in audio. That is what you can actually do with the essential sound panel in Adobe Premiere Pro, guys. I don't know about you, but it has never been exciting to work on sound or to touch on audio because Essential Sound Panel is so great and comes to your rescue anytime you want to get things like this processed very quickly. It's with me, OBL Jr. here, right here on the African Maze channel. Guys, if you got a ton of information out of this video, kindly click on the like button so that a lot of people can get to see this video on YouTube. Guys, if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below or you can also find me on Instagram at OBL underscore junior. You can DM me your questions and I will gladly respond to every single one of your messages. Guys, until next time, as always, keep practicing filmmaking. Peace out.